All right, welcome. This is Schweitzer. We're going to do a quick little video on a little bit of the car lab and some of the types of data collection that we will be gathering. Uh, I'm going to highlight essentially um, one or two types and they all kind of work the same. Keep in mind, we're looking to eventually get the mass of um, a car, okay? From this, I already showed in a previous video, essentially we will use F equals MA and we will convert this into a, some into other types of mathematical formula using friction um, and a few other things, but essentially this, this is kind of what we're going to do. Um, we will find the acceleration of the car and with that we will plug in and be able to get the with, along with the force we will calculate out the mass so all of our data collection here is surrounded around finding the acceleration of the car and that would be the average acceleration of the car um, assuming that with our car um, that we push uh, with a consistent force then we would have a um, constant um, acceleration. Alright, so a few things we collect data. Um, just so you're aware, whenever you graph, and we'll do three or four different types of graphing depending on the year of this thing, um, whenever you graph the, let's say, the velocity versus time graph, um, you would note that this car starts out relatively slow and goes faster and faster and faster um, and at some point it looks something like that All right. Um, in this case um, I should say that in this case for the acceleration it would be looking like that the slope of this particular line is the acceleration and we would hope that we'd have consistent acceleration so our velocity time graph would look like this alright and if we have let's say a position graph versus time you'd note that we would, uh, in this case position time our slope at this point versus the top one our slope on this guy is velocity and our velocity will definitely be increasing as we move along. So it will look something like this. Okay. Now, if we're trying to buy acceleration here, you could take the first derivative of this guy would give you the acceleration. Another way of doing that is what we're do is graphically is to take a best, it's called a best fit line. And in the top one, we'll take a best fit because it's going to have all sorts of the computer is going to take all these data points and try and fit it to a straight line so linear this one best fit will be quadratic and this is going to essentially take this and straighten it into a straight line and in that sense the slope of this guy will end up being the acceleration. We've done labs like this in the past. Um, this, in this case, um, like with the particular graphing software we use for video analysis, um, it show just a quick little heads up. It shows the a squared component, um, and we determined that that two times the a was equal to the acceleration. Okay, so. That might be helpful if you're using the video analysis program. All right, so in this case, a few different ways in which we can solve for the acceleration. One is we're going to be using a book drop. This is pretty consistent year to year. Um, you're going to take your car and you'd have somebody essentially um, dropping books out of the window alright and there'll be a tape measure across the ground and each book is dropped a certain amount of time uh, this year I do believe it's every five seconds so the books will always be dropped at equal time frames alright so 
So at the first five seconds, we traveled this distance. Seconds five seconds, we might have only traveled this far for the 10 second. And then we might go a little far, we're uh, picking up speed as we move along. And we go this much in 15 seconds. So with this information, we have enough information to go change in position over change in time. This is a position time graph, and that is right here. With that data, you'd simply take a data table, and you have position and time, and list out all your positions at certain times, and then you essentially you'd graph it. Because it's a position and time graph, we want to do a best fit quadratic, and the slope should be relatively straight. Uh, if we do best fit, we will, the computer will attempt to give us a straight line, uh, and that straight line will represent our acceleration. Um, next up, we have um, video analysis. So we have a person who is going to be tracking essentially with a video analysis program, computer software, the physical movement of the car and the computer will automatically form, uh, will make for us a position and time graph. It will we'll do a quadratic fit on this thing and of course it will give us a nice little data spread for that. The last thing we'll do, well, one of the things we can do um, is um, doing a video video of a GPS. Now, GPS will give us, in this particular GPS gives us velocity. Okay. And for this, um, we will then video it. So the video will give us the time frame and the GPS on the video will give us the velocity. So at that point, again, you'll have velocity versus time the velocity time graph, the slope, best fit, linear, should give us our acceleration. Um, and we might add a few things on, uh, changes year to year, year in, year out. But for the most part, um, this is the main ways which we will calculate the acceleration of the car, which is then um, applied to find the mass of the car. You will want to check that little notes on that or video see if you can uh, need help for that.